guys, this is Mine64 here, and we'll be playing Xenonia 4 again. I don't even know what part this is. I gotta figure that out later when I'm naming it. I think it's part 5 or part 4. Um, anyways, today I'm gonna be showing you the Den of Trial boosting in Xenonia 4. 350? I didn't even play last time. What the heck? It's still charging me more. <sighs> Gray Sylvest. Let's add him. So Gray Sylvest, one word. And that's a hacked account with boosted stats that you should use to boost off of this. Can I add him? I guess I can't, but whatever. So now that we're the same level, he'll help me more than it said. So you see, he'll just kill. Look at his stats for level 7 50,000 50, for each shot. So all I, all I have to do is hide in the corners and he'll take care of them all. So. I mean, I guess I might as well make myself useful. Oh, he's dead already. But as you can tell, he still misses a lot. Even though he has a high level. Because. Oh, crap. Level 16 is doing all that damage already. Anyways, I'm just going to hide. No, oh shit, I forgot. You can't use potions or any things in here because I don't even know because why. But anyways, every time you clear a room, your HP goes up by a little bit. So it's not all that bad. Oh my lord, he's killing all these things. Anyways, um, you see, look, it'll go up a little bit. Yeah, just went up a little bit and you sell your mana. But there's no point of me doing anything since I'm so weak and I'm just gonna let him take care of everything. And this is how you get through this tower. Look, look on the map, he's just killing them off all one by one, one hit KO. So when they're done, they'll just show that they're dead right in front of you. So don't get scared, just walk through them. Unless that white square is on the map, then don't get near him. This is just crazy. So there's nothing to do except wait. Oh, he's done already. Wow, he's getting faster and faster. And you see he has a different colored fairy. He probably has ice elemented powers. Elemented. I don't think that's even a word, but whatever. Hopefully my last video wasn't over 15. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't kill me. They're scary, though. I'd be scared to... No, oh, he's gonna hit him. But when he puts that fire thing in front of him, sometimes he'll be stupid and he'll hide in front of it. So then he won't move until it despawns. So then you have to bring the enemies closer to him without lagging. Hey, look at that. I'm not lagging that bad anymore. That's cool. I guess it's because there's less map area and less graphics. That's probably what it is. Yeah, there's less graphics and everything, so now I'm not lagging. See, no. No stupid self put it right in front of him. No. I need to hide. So just let him kill it. We'll probably get to like level 50. And then. Yep. Yeah. See I cut myself off halfway through my sentences. Because I know I'm just going to say something stupid. That's just going to bother everyone. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Anyways. That's probably what you want to hear. But I have nothing to say. And I'm really sorry for that. But. At least I'm showing you how to get free things. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, hopefully he'll take care of these. 
die soon, and then we'll be able to go. But I think, yeah, every ten, there's a a boss. And I might have said that already, but this is, this reminds me so much of Sword Art Online. Excuse me, I had a hiccup there. Anyways, I, if there is one game that I want to be in, like Sword Art Online, it'd either be this game or the World of Magic. Because those games are very similar to this one, but this one is probably more similar because of the every 10 floors there's a boss. On every 10 floors, there's a guy who looks like yourself just from each class. So I think he was the boss on the first one. Holy crap, he was the boss on the first one then. Okay. No, don't shock him. Oh crap, I don't want to be shocked either. But you see, he's missing all the time. But all he has to do is get one hit on them, and then they're done. But like, like the tip just said, bosses are more resilient to things, so it'll be harder for him to make a hit. Because you see, he has three of them. And if you just hit him, yeah, it's the same ghost, but they're like, like same ghost, just like level 40. But all he has to do is get one hit on them, and they're done. So I guess I'll just hide here while he does it. Okay, so I don't know what I was. I was. Yeah. They might have. See, there was the boss right there. I guess I was wrong about every 10. I guess there's just boss on everyone starting from 10. Anyways. Uh, sorry for yawning. I'm really tired. Anyways, um. I was just checking the time while he was killing them. And I have, like, 10 minutes left. Oh, he's done, okay. Yep, another boss. Because getting to a level, like, floor 14 is incredibly amazing. By someone who's on level 7. So just from there, we could end, and, I, and my stats would be increasing dramatically. It's like, you know when you level up, you have the... Uh, the parts, not part. I don't even know what I'm saying. You can amplify your stats with a, and then there's the other points where you only get one, and you can increase your special abilities that are passive and active. Yeah, like, when you level up, we'll just have like 30 of those just sitting there for us to spam away. See, I don't know why he's being stupid and playing that right in the front in the beginning. Just run. Go around it. I have to wait for him to... Holy shit. He put a second one. Please don't run into that one. No. Okay, good. He's sort of smart. Anyways, let's just wait for him to kill them all off. I just look on the map. It's amazing how he's fighting like level 60s at level 7. And he still has 100% life. Yeah, my life. Regenerate. That's good. So let's go. Two way portals do something. See, I hate those tips. They they get you to read something good, but you never get to actually finish reading it. And even his little bot. Is, I don't even know what to call them. I just call them bots. Because they're... <laughs> I don't even know what to call them. But anyway, the little bots... They do insane amount of damage. So when he sets them up, I know what he's trying to do. Even though it's a CPU being stupid. Doing it by accident. You see, he's missing every hit. But all he needs is one hit that does like 60k damage and he's done. I just like, I'll see if I can get to show you the level of these bad guys. But I, oh god. But to do that, I have to attack one while he's attacking it. That's scary. Oh, the yetis. I remember. 
Yeah, I'm scared. I don't even care. Right, but he's on like level 70. I'm like, that killer. Kill them. Kill them. He's dead. Let's go. Uh, I guess I'll have to end up breaking this into two videos because I have to cut it off soon. So I guess when you get to level 20, I'll stop it and then I'll show you what happened. Never mind, I was lying. Obviously, I lied. Because that fire thing's only doing like 8 damage then. Never mind. It's 6. Anyways. Whatever, let's go. Let's just kill him. Next 4, next 4, next 4, next 4. No, 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 no. What is this dude? Oh, it's just the axe, yeah. <laughs> I want the one with the fire. Yeah, that's that mini boss I was telling you about that we had to fight in the next town. And you see how he's glowing? Yep. He has the element of shadow, which is really annoying as hell. But, oh god, you see? Another me from the future is in here and they're extremely strong. But whatever. So after this floor, I'm done. I'm not done. I'm just going to have to cut it into the next video. I really hate this YouTube time limit thing because I got a copyright infringement by accident. Whatever. Okay, before I go into the next room, I'll just say goodbye. And see you next